Don't you hate it when someone doesn't value you the way they should? If you think someone doesn't realize what a kind, interesting, amazing person you are, there are plenty of solutions for that. By the end of this video, you will learn just how to make someone treat you with the respect you deserve, regardless of whether you're talking about work, family, or even your significant other. So make sure to give this video your full attention. If you're new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. We'll do our best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. Understanding the problem. Before we get to what to do if someone doesn't value you, we have to understand why that might be. According to a 2018 study from the Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin, people with low self-esteem cause their partners to treat them worse. So, is it all your fault? Of course not. But it's worth understanding that if you want someone's behavior to change around you, you'll have to change your own behavior as well. After all, you're the one who teaches people how you want to be treated. With that said, let's begin. Number 6. Realize your worth Feeling undervalued might cause you to think that you're doing something wrong, but having low self-worth will definitely make people lose interest in you. If someone doesn't see your value, that doesn't mean you're anything less than a catch. So first things first, pick yourself up, girl. Remember that you deserve to be happy and cherished. After all, if you don't treat yourself as a priority, why on earth should anyone else? If you know your self-worth, you are more likely to call them out on anything wrong the first time they do it. The bottom line is, if you want them to treat you right, you have to make sure you're treating yourself right first. Make yourself the most important person in your life, and remember, don't let yourself be a doormat. There's no use crying over someone who's blind to what's right in front of them. If you can do this, then the next step will automatically follow through. Number 5. Learn how to say no It's easy enough to say you should have more self-esteem, but now it's time to put it into practice. Simply put, you have to learn to say no. The reason they don't value you might be because you have people-pleasing tendencies. If you compromise on your time, for example, you're telling people it doesn't mean as much to you. People-pleasing habits have been shown to cause a decline in health, not just mental but physical as well, and it's all because you might be making yourself a little too available. It's okay to cancel an appointment or a date. If you don't want to go somewhere you're not comfortable, you're allowed to do that. And if you confront someone who treated you wrongly, you're well within your rights to do so. If you clicked on this video, it means you know that you never have to put up with anyone treating you less than what you deserve, but you have to be clear about it. If you don't want to do something or don't have time to spare, you have to learn to say no. You'll be teaching people that you're not okay with being undervalued and that you're not willing to compromise on your time. Otherwise, they might not have even realized they're treating you this way, which means that the next thing to do is obvious. Number 4. Let them know how you feel After all, communication is still the most effective way to maintain a successful relationship. If you want to get someone to realize they don't value you as much as they should, or that you're putting in a lot more effort than they are, then you can just talk to them about it. Tell them about the effort you put in every single day and how you feel as though you're not getting enough in return. If they recognize what you're saying to them and how you feel about the situation, they will listen and change their behavior. It might sound a little risky to you. After all, being undervalued isn't the easiest thing in the world to admit. But according to a professor in Human Development and Family Studies at the University of Illinois, keeping lines of communication open is one of the best ways to improve the quality of any relationship. On the other hand, lack of communication in marriages is the number one cause of divorce. But you don't have to be married or even in a romantic relationship to know that bottling things up is never a good idea. But if you've talked to them and they still don't seem to understand, it might be time to start exploring other means. Number 3. Make them work for your time This one may appear to be a jerk move, but it just might work for you. It's the simple scarcity principle. If something isn't easily available, it's worth a lot more. The reason luxury brands and authentic diamonds are desired is because they are exclusive and rare. 
make yourself rarer. Stop being the one who always texts first, stop checking up on them constantly, and definitely stop seeing them for last minute plans. Don't make yourself too available. Instead of running to them, make them chase you. If you depend too much on somebody who already doesn't value you, you're just setting yourself up for failure. After all, why should you spend your time on someone who isn't willing to do the same for you? Lean back and let them do the work for a change. If you're always at their beck and call, they're going to take you for granted. Give them a hint of what life without you would be like and give them the chance to miss you and they'll finally realize what they've been taking for granted all this time. And hey, as a bonus, if you make yourself busy, you might have a lot more going on in your life as well, which leads to the next point. Number two, show them you have an option. If you've got the self-esteem part down and you're making them work for their time, what's the next step here? It's obvious, you go somewhere and are valued instead. Work on other projects with people who offer you better deals. Go to people who like you for the way you are and always include you and listen to your opinions. And most of all, go to people who you feel can give you just what you've been missing out on. If someone doesn't value you, make them realize that you always have the option to leave. There's something called mimetic desire. People always want what they've seen other people want as well. Numerous researchers have proven this to be true, including Sildiani, who was the first psychologist to ever become a best-selling author. So, show them that your life is perfect, with or without them, and that you have plenty of options if they're not willing to jump in with both feet with you. Cancel on them a few times and casually flirt with other people. But even if this doesn't work, then you might just have to confront some harsh truths about the situation and take some drastic measures. Finally, we have number one, don't stick around. So you've tried everything at this point. You've tried distancing yourself to make them realize your importance. You've gotten your self-esteem back and your life is back on track. And you've even tried communicating, but it's just not helping. What do you do now? Well, if someone still doesn't recognize your worth, then maybe it's high time you put that self-confidence to use and walk out of that relationship. After all, you deserve to be with people who make you feel cherished. If you're constantly feeling like a second option, that will take a toll on your life no matter how hard you try. Needless to say, this is the last resort. You should only do this if everything else has failed. Don't stay for the wrong reasons. Don't stick around because you think there is a chance it may get better, even if all the evidence points to the opposite. Research has shown that staying in one-sided relationships can take a toll on your physical and mental health and affect everything else in your life as well. And it's not just about relationships. Even staying at dead-end jobs or in friend groups where you don't feel welcome will affect you. When the time comes, you should be able to leave. Final thoughts. Being undervalued is one of the worst situations anyone can be in. It's difficult to figure out what the cause is and even more difficult to figure out how to deal with it. But if you keep your head up and know your worth, you'll find someone someday who actually treats you well. Just remember, you deserve more than what they're giving you. And if you're not satisfied with your current situation, only you have the power to change it. Now you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you six proven signs that indicate you have an attractive personality. Make sure to watch it now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.